हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आई होप यू आर ऑल डूइंग वेल इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व एन एस ओ ओलम्पैड वर्क बुक चैप्टर सिक्स मोशन एंड द मेजरमेंट ऑफ डिस्टेंस फॉर क्लास सिक्स प्लीज वॉच वीडियो एंड डू लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल स्टार्ट विद क्वेश्चन नंबर वन अ साइक्लिस्ट मूव फ्रॉम अ सर्टन पॉइंट पी एंड गोज अराउंड अ सर्कल ऑफ रेडियस ए एंड रिचेस क्यू एग्जैक्टली एट द अदर साइड ऑफ द पॉइंट पी एट शोन इन फिगर द डिसमेंट ऑफ द साइक्लिस्ट वुड बी डैश सो यू आर गिवन द साइक्लिस्ट मूव फ्रॉम पी टू क्यू इन अ सर्क्यूलर पाथ एंड हियर वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द डिसमेंट ऑफ द साइक्लिस्ट Displacement is a shortest distance between P and Q. So here OP is a radius of circle, and OQ is also radius of, of circle. So it is also A. So here A plus A is equal to two A. So shortest distance is two A. So here displacement is two A. C is correct answer. Question number two: Read the given statements and select the correct option. Statement one: The displacement of body may be zero, though distance travel can be finite. Statement two: If the body moves such that finally it arrives at the initial point, then the displacement is zero while distance is finite. So first, the displacement is the shortest distance measured between the initial point and final point of the moving body. Suppose P is a starting point and body moves in circular path and come back to its initial point. Then the distance travel is finite, but the displacement is zero. So here, statement one is also true and two is also true. So option A both statement one and two are true and statement two is the correct explanation of statement one. A is correct answer. Question number three in a circular motion the A direction of motion is fixed. B direction of motion changes continuously. Option C at every point distance and displacement of the object moving is same. Option D velocity is constant. When a bo body is moving in a circular path, it is called as circular motion. Direction of motion is not fixed; it change continuously. And if the direction is change, velocity is also changes. And at each point, the displacement is different. So here only option B is correct. Answer. Question number four: What causes a moving body to resist a changes in its state of motion? Here given options are its mass, its speeds, its inertia, and its weight. So here inertia is a property of body due to which it resists a change in its state of rest or or of the motion. So here option C is correct answer. Question number five: The mass of a quarter pounder in gram is dash. Here counter pounder means one by four pounds. And according to the question, one kg is equal to two point two zero five pounds. So for one one by four pound, how much kg? So it is equal to one by four into One by two point two zero five pounds. It is in kg. We want it into grams. So we here multiply with thousand, which gives here four ones are four, four twos are eight, two remaining four fives are twenty, and zero. So two fifty divided by two point two zero five, which gives. One one three point four. So here C is correct answer. Question number six. One centimeter on a scale is divided into twenty equal divisions. The least count of this scale is. So here one centimeter is divided into twenty equal division. Means one division is equal to one by twenty. So it is equal to zero point zero five centimeter. So zero point zero five centimeter is equal to zero point five millimeter. So here D is correct answer. Question number seven: A pendulum swings in a backward and forward direction passing through Y, the middle point of a oscillation. 
first time the pendulum passes through y and stopwatch is started then the 21st time pendulum pass through y the stopwatch is stop then the reading is t what is the time period of a pendulum so here time period is the time required to complete one oscillation here 21 time pendulum pass through y means there are total 10 oscillation and time is t so time period is equal to total time divided by total number of oscillation so t by 10 so time period is equal to t by 10 d is correct answer question number 8 which of the following motions is are periodic as well as oscillatory oscillatory motion is the motion in which object moves to and fro repeatedly and periodic motion in which the object repeats the path after a regular interval of time here only option 2 shows to and fro as well as motion which is repeated after regular time of interval so here only option b is correct answer question number 9 which of the following statement is correct option a motion of soldier on march past is a periodic motion it is incorrect the soldier on march past shows the rectilinear motion option b motion of a train along a curved track on hill is an example of curvilinear motion the motion along the curved path is called curvilinear motion so it is correct option option c every periodic motion is also an oscillatory motion all oscillatory motions are periodic but all periodic motions are not oscillatory so it is incorrect option d hockey player running after a ball is a combined motion the example of combined motion is the wheel of cycle in motion in this the rotational as well as rectilinear motion are combined option d is also incorrect so here only b is correct answer. question number 10 four pieces of wooden sticks p q r and s are placed along the length of 15 centimeter long scale as shown in figure what is the average length of these sticks so here p shows the length 2.3 minus 0.2 so length of p is 2.1 centimeter length of q is 3 centimeter length of r is 3.1 centimeter and length of s shows 2.5 centimeter now here to find out the average we take the sum of all this length divide by total number of length so here sum of length is equal to 10.7 by 4 which gives 2.675 centimeter which is equal to 2.7 centimeter so here c is correct answer thank you for watching i hope you like the video do practice well and please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you